here. So today we are going to talk about different uh, benefits and allowances that you can get when you are in uh, Netherlands. I mean when you arrive for the first time in Netherlands, what kind of benefits and what kind of allowances uh, you can apply for when you first arrive in Netherlands, uh, you should know about it. So it can be of different types. So uh, depending on your situation and on your position, uh, you need to decide which type you want to apply for. So let us divide it into different types. Or, I mean, HRA, that is the house rent allowance. Another can be CA, that is care allowance, which is generally related to the insurance money that you pay. Uh, I will go into details of each of these after some time. Now I just want to enlist the categories. And the third one is, uh, you can call it like, it doesn't have a name as such, but you can call it like a tax allowance. So this applies for persons who, uh, I mean, like study in Netherlands and uh, then they want to, maybe later they want to, uh, I mean, if you are coming outside of Netherlands, then you get the 30% ruling. That is also a kind of a tax allowance. And uh, if you don't get the 30% ruling, so then also you have another tax allowance. So this tax allowance thing can be divided into two parts. So one part is with 30% ruling mm -hmm. and the another part is without 30%. So where do you stand if you don't get 30%? Mostly if you have studied in Netherlands for certain duration, then you would never get the 30%. I will go into details of each of these. Okay, so this is the house rent allowance. Care allowance. And this is your tax allowance. So now we need to go deep into each of these categories and later decide if we miss anything, then we can add it later.